Hey St. Lawrence family, uh, this is Derek with the Tuesday Reflections um, and our final week uh, of, the, of the spring here of Daily Reflections and um, let's just, just start with asking the Lord to come. Uh, so come Holy Spirit and uh, work in our hearts and our life. We praise you Lord for just the, the ways that you have worked um, in our hearts over the past couple months through these reflections and I ask that you would continue to do it in this final week and then also through the summer that um, all of us um, all of the members of the St. Lawrence family would be protected and that we would dive deep into our prayer lives um, we trust you Lord use this reflection Amen so <clears throat> um, we're coming up to the Pentecost here and um, and really these days from the Ascension to the Pentecost, I'm just, I've kind of thought a little bit about it um, as like a time of waiting again. And um, and again, we're honestly still kind of in a time of waiting with, with COVID. Um, and Jesus made this promise that I will be with you always as just before he ascended to heaven. And, but he was leaving. And so, but he promised that he would be with us but he was leaving, so what was that all about? But he's gonna send this new part, this new Lord, this other being of the Trinity that they haven't really experienced before. Um, and, he, and he promises, and, uh, and brothers and sisters, I think this is, this is the key, continue, continues to be the key for us, is that the Lord is with us because the Holy Spirit has made his home within us. And I spoke a little bit about that last week, about the Holy Spirit dwelling within us. And I just want to encourage us, um, as we look at the readings today, both Paul and Jesus, the way they write there, the way they're, um, they're quoted in, those, in, the, in the Acts 20 and then the Gospel, uh, John 17, they're both talking about, they both basically know that their time is coming to an end. And, uh, and Paul even says, I'll never see your face again. And Jesus is about to go, um, to go through with his with a, with a passion, um, and they neither really know exactly what's ahead of them, um, but it's a time of waiting and a time of kind of like unsurety. And and here we are again in COVID, kind of COVID nineteen. We're we're again things are starting to open up a little bit more. Hopefully, some of us are starting to get to go to mass again, um, but still a time of waiting. And really, again, I think we should enter into this waiting because of the season, because the ascension to the Pentecost is a time of waiting and reflecting on that the Holy Spirit is about to be poured out upon the, the apostles and the church is going to be built. It's going to be the people's hearts are going to be renewed um, and, and people will be saved. And, um, and so why do I say this? I think I say this because Jesus is obviously an incredible, like he's our savior. And Paul is is our is a hero of the faith for us, and um, and the way that they were able to pour out their life and encourage us was because they were filled with the Spirit. Jesus was obviously filled with the Spirit. He was one with the Spirit, but Paul too was so deeply his life was so changed by the power of the Holy Spirit when he encountered the Holy Spirit again when he first was converted back at Damascus. Um, um, and, and, and it's only by the Holy Spirit dwelling within us that can we truly pour out our lives. Um, it's only the Holy Spirit dwelling within us that we can live a life for others. And uh, so just in our time of, of prayer today, I just encourage us to reflect on both Paul's words in, in the Acts reading and then also uh, Jesus' words in the Gospel of how they're, they're, con they're conversing with One's conversing with um, the community, one's conversing with the Father, but it's still kind of this reflective, like, I have given all I have to you. I've given my life away, and all that I have is, um, all that I have I've given. And, 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 and that's where, that's the kind of life we want to live, brothers and sisters. We want to live a life that is totally poured out for others, totally poured out in service of Jesus, the King, um, and poured out for our Father. And that can only happen by, by realizing that we need, to, we need to open ourselves more deeply to the truth that our, that our life, our hearts, um, 
are built upon the Holy Spirit dwelling within us that we have received at our baptism, that we have received at our confirmation. So um, let's be encouraged and, and ask the Lord, Lord, how can, I, how can I pour out more of my life in this time of waiting? How can I, even though I don't know the future, how can I be sure and confident that I can go forward, continue, and continue to pour my life out for others? Um, so that's my encouragement for us today. Um, come Holy Spirit, stir us up, Lord that we might pour out our lives, that we might live generously and boldly and courageously and build the kingdom. Amen. Hi, my name is Father Jake Anderson. I'm the pastor here at St. Lawrence Catholic Church in Newman Center. I'm so grateful that you're able to, uh, to just watch some of these videos. Um, we certainly have a lot of content. We're putting out videos every day. Uh, so I just encourage you to do a little exploration and, and find that what we're offering to stay connected as the Catholic Church here at the U of M.